chapter 7, Mishnah 6. Fruit that grows on a tree during the fourth year after it is planted is called Revi. The owner must bring the fruit to Jerusalem and eat it there. If he cannot do so, he must redeem the fruit by exchanging it for money, which he brings to Jerusalem and uses to buy food to eat there. The laws of Revai are similar to those of Meister Shani, one of the portions that must be separated from the produce that grows in Eretz Israel. Meister Shani must also be eaten in Jerusalem or redeemed for money that is used to buy food in Jerusalem. Our Mishnah, which also appeared in Meister Shani chapter 5, Mishnah 3, and Eduyos chapter 4, Mishnah 5, considers whether Revai resembles Meister Shani regarding two other laws as well, namely the law of the fifth, i.e. when the owner redeems, redeems his produce with his own money, he must pay an extra fifth, and the law of removal, i.e. it must be removed from the house before Pesach of the fourth and seventh years of the Shemitah cycle. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. The fourth year produce of a vineyard, Revai, Beis Shammai say, it is not subject to the law of the fifth or to the law of removal, but Beis Hillel say it is subject to the law of the fifth and the law of removal. The Mishnah considers whether a person must leave Peret and Alelos from the fourth year produce of a vineyard. Beis Shammai say, it, the fourth year produce of a vineyard, is subject to the laws of Peret and Olelos, just like the produce of any other year. And the poor who collect the Peret and the Olelos of a fourth year vineyard must redeem it for themselves, if they do not want to take it to Jerusalem. But Beis Hillel say, all of it goes to the wine press. That is, the entire fourth year harvest, including the Peret and the Olelos, must be kept by the owner. He is allowed to put all the grapes in the wine press to turn them into wine, without leaving any for the poor. He then redeems the wine or takes it to Jerusalem.